Yechezkeel Ezekiel 23. The word of Yahuwah came again unto me, saying, Son of Adam, there were two women, the daughters of one mother, and they committed whoredoms in Mitzrayim. They committed whoredoms in their youth. There were their breasts pressed, and there they bruised the teats of their virginity. And the means of them were Ohala, the elder, and Ohaliva, her sister. And they were mine, and they bore sons and daughters. Thus were their names. Shomoron is Ohola, and Yerushalayim is Oholiva. And Ohola played the harlot when she was mine, and she doted on her lovers, on El Ashur, her neighbors, which were clothed with blue, captains and rulers, all of them desirable young men, horsemen riding upon horses. Thus she committed her whoredoms with them, with all them that were the chosen men of Ashur, and with all on whom she doted. With all her idols she defiled herself. Neither left she at her whoredoms brought from Mitzrayim. For in her youth they lay with her, and they bruised the breasts of her virginity, and poured their whoredom upon her. Wherefore I have delivered her into the hand of her lovers, into the hand of the Ash-Sharim, upon whom she doted. These discovered her nakedness. They took her sons and her daughters, and slew her with the sword. And she became famous among women, for they had executed judgment upon her. And when her sister Oholiva saw this, she was more corrupt in her inordinate love than she, and eth in her whoredoms more than her sister in her whoredoms. She doted upon the Ash Sharim, her neighbors, captains, and rulers, clothed most, most gorgeously, and horsemen riding upon horses, all of them desirable young men. Then I saw that she was defiled, that they took both one way, and that she increased her whoredoms. For when she saw men portrayed upon the wall, the images of the Kazdim portrayed with vermilion, girded with belts upon their loins, exceeding in dyed attire upon their heads, all of them princes to look to, after the manner of the inhabitants of Babel, of Kazdima, the land of their nativity. And as soon as she saw them with her eyes, she doted upon them and sent messengers unto them into Kazdima. And the inhabitants of Babel came to her into the bed of love, and they defiled her with their whoredoms and she was polluted with them, and her mind was alienated from them. So she discovered her whoredoms, and discovered at her nakedness. Then my mind was alienated from her, like as my mind was alienated from her sister. Yet she multiplied at her whoredoms, in calling to remembrance at the days of her youth, wherein she had played the harlot, in the land of Mitzrayim. For she doted upon their paramours, whose flesh is as the flesh of asses, and whose issue is like the issue of horses. Thus you called to remembrance at the lewdness of your youth, in bruising your teats by the Mitzrayim for the breasts of your youth. Therefore, O Ohiliva, thus says Adonai Yahuwah, Behold, I will raise up at your lovers against you, at from whom your mind is alienated, and I will bring them against you on every side. 
the inhabitants of Babel and all the Kazdim, Pichad and Shoa and Choa and all the Ash Sharim with them. All of them desirable young women, rather desirable young men, captains and rulers, great lords and renowned, all of them riding upon horses. And they shall come against you with chariots, wagons, and wheels, and with an assembly of people, which shall set against you buckler and shield and helmet round about, and I will set judgment before them, and they shall judge you according to their judgments. And I will set my jealousy against you, and they shall deal furiously with you. They shall take away your nose and your ears, and your remnant shall fall by the sword. They shall take your sons and your daughters, and your remnant shall be devoured by the fire. They shall also strip you out eth of your clothes and take away your fair jewels. Thus will I make your lewdness to cease from you, and eth your whoredom brought from the land of Mitzrayim, so that you shall not lift up your eyes unto them, nor remember Mitzrayim any more. For thus says Adonai Yahuwah, Behold, I will deliver you into the hand of them whom you hate, into the hand of them from whom your mind is alienated. And they shall deal with you hatefully, and shall take away all your labor, and shall leave you naked and bare. And the nakedness of your whoredoms shall be discovered, both your lewdness and your whoredoms. I will do these things unto you, because you have gone a-whoring after the heathen, and because you are polluted with their idols. You have walked in the way of your sister, therefore will I give her cup into your hand. Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, You shall drink of your sister's cup, deep and large. You shall be laughed to scorn and had in derision. It contains much. You shall be filled with drunkenness and sorrow, with the cup of astonishment and desolation, with the cup of your sister Shomoron. You shall even drink it and suck it out, and you shall break eth the sherds thereof and pluck off your own breasts, for I have spoken it, says Adonai Yahuwah. Therefore thus says Adonai Yahuwah, because you have forgotten me and cast me behind your back, therefore bear you also your lewdness and eth your whoredoms. Yahuwah said moreover unto me, Son of Adam, will you judge eth Ohalah and eth Ohaliva? Yea, declare unto them eth their abominations, that they have broken wedlock, and blood is in their hands. And eth with their idols have they broken wedlock, and have also caused eth their sons, whom they bore unto me, to pass for them through the fire, to devour them. Moreover, this they have done unto me. They have defiled eth my sanctuary in the same day, and have profaned eth my Shabbat oath. For... When they had slain at their children to their idols, then they came the same day into my sanctuary to profane it. And lo, thus have they done in the midst of my house. And furthermore, that ye have sent for men to come from far, unto whom a messenger was sent. And lo, they came, for whom you did wash yourself, painted your eyes, and decked yourself with ornaments, and sat upon a stately bed, and a table prepared before it, whereupon you have set my incense and my oil. And the voice of a multitude being at ease was with her, and with the men of the common sort were brought Shevaim from the wilderness, which put bracelets upon their hands, and beautiful crowns upon their heads. Then said I unto her that was old in adulteries, 
Will they now commit whoredoms with her, and she with them? Yet they went in unto her, as they go in unto a woman that plays the harlot. So went they in unto Ohala and unto Ohaliva, the lewd women. And the righteous men, they shall judge them after the manner of adulteresses, and after the manner of women that shed blood, because they are adulteresses, and blood is in their hands. For thus says Adonai Yahuwah, I will bring up a company upon them, and will bring rather, and will give them to be removed and spoiled, and the company shall stone them with stones, and dispatch them with their swords. They shall slay their sons and their daughters, and burn up their houses with fire. Thus will I cause lewdness to cease out of the land, that all women may be taught not to do after your lewdness. And they shall recompense your lewdness upon you, and ye shall bear the sins of your idols, and ye shall know that I am Adonai Yahuwah.